What's going on, successors? It's Speak Your Success, and uh, Jonathan Jones here with Dr. Tawana Smith, and we're here to talk a little bit about Women's Equality Day. Dr. Smith, I'm excited. Yes, I am as well, because women are killing it right now. <laughs> killing it, killing it, killing it. All right, so, so um, Dr. T, in, in honor of Women's Equality Day, what progress do you think has been made in providing women with equal opportunities in sport business management and what challenges still remain? We do, we are experiencing uh, an influx of women being uh, promoted into some junior leadership positions. Uh, what I would like to see though, is that they have a little bit more autonomy uh, to you know, make some of the adjustments that need to be made in order to continue to advance opportunities for women. We're moving in the right direction and I pray it continues, uh, you know, to provide opportunities. Understood, understood. And, and, and knowing your, your background with, within finance, uh, finance plays a significant role in both the personal and professional growth. What, what advice do you have for women in sports on building financial literacy and using it to empower their careers and their lives? Yeah, you know, this is important because women are the largest consumers, right, uh, of things and in a position as parents, as spouses in their homes to make many of those financial decisions. I think it's very important that we share information with one another as we continue to build these spaces for women empowerment and these communities and support groups for one another uh, as we're breaking glass ceilings and the like. We've got to incorporate some of that education and share ideas, resources around funding, right? Uh, as an entrepreneur and, and business uh, grant and, and loan opportunities, uh, we've got to do a better job of sharing that information with other women so we can continue to pay it forward. Understood. Okay, so continue just to share, you know, yeah. what, what's, what's learned. Don't be a, ultimately be a conduit, not a cul-de-sac. Yeah. Yes. Oh, I like that. I like With, that. Yeah. yeah. That's Dr. Tony Evans quote. I, I stole this quote. That's his quote. Yes, <laughs> well, you gave him credit, so that's good. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I wasn't if you, you know, hey, hey, okay, let's keep rolling. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so so uh, with, with with women's voices, uh, they're they're incre they're increasingly being amplified uh, through yes. throughout public speaking throughout that arena. Uh, what tips would you give to women who inspire to become inspirational speakers, particularly uh, in a male dominated field like sports, business, and those type areas? Yeah. You know, you first have to have thick skin, but I would say, you know, understand that as a speaker, but particularly as a woman, because oftentimes people come uh, with some hesitancy, right, around your ability to um, impart change, right? Nobody wants to hear your story. They don't care, right? And this is sometimes hard as a speaker to stomach because that's one reason we wanna speak, we got something we wanna say, right? Yeah. They don't care about your story. What they do care about though, is how your story, your journey, your triumph can transform their lives in some way. And if you can find a way to connect that dot for others, uh, then you will be able to be successful in this field, right? But they don't wanna hear your story. They wanna hear how you can transform their lives in some way. Mm, man. That is, isn't isn't that just the truth about I mean the way the world works now you know people just yeah. they, they want they want well, it's it's the what's in it for me yes yes and it's, yeah for sure learn that and you'll be successful there we go okay y'all heard Dr T say it okay and then uh, right 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 here Dr T we're gonna get ready to wrap this thing up and tie a ribbon on it with a bow how do you leverage your platform during Women's Equality Day? Uh, to advocate for change and ultimately to inspire the next generation of women? Yeah, so two things. I'm going to use my voice. You cannot be afraid, you know, to, to speak up. Um, they will never know unless you ask. But then I also leverage the platforms of males, particularly the male athletes and colleagues that I have in this business. And you know, I'm an advocate for this for several reasons. Number one, it's a little easier, right, for uh, men, right? We're talking about women's equality to get into some spaces to be um, 
you know, respect it and, and that sort of thing. And I think it's something particularly between black men and black women, right? And in, in, in sports and athletes hiring black women to represent them on their teams. This is also something that I advocate for uh, to give these women a platform, but we also have women being some of the fastest educated folks in the world, right? Um, having them on your team can be an asset, but but males can oftentimes open the door and give us a platform for that enhanced visibility that we need, for that credibility often that we need. Once we get in the door, it's our job, right, to, to shut it down and to show why we belong there. Uh, but I do think mending that relationship, right, we're talking women's equality, but mending the relationship with men so that we're not competing so fiercely with one another, uh, and looking at each other as enemies, when in fact, uh, we can see a lot more progress with male support, right? Uh, so, you know, I think if we can figure out a way to connect and utilize our competencies in a complementary fashion, everybody will win, but particularly we'll see more advances, you know, for women. I like it, Dr. T, I like it. Cause when, hey, yeah. Dr. T, the sisters will get it done. Okay. Listen, you need a sister on your team. You need okay. thinking in detail. You need someone cautious who can kind of see when things are sounding a little awry. Get your woman on your team. There it is. Y'all, this is going to wrap us up for Women's Equality Day. Our, our Women's Equality Day celebration here on the Speaker Success uh, Podcast <laughs> with the one and only Dr. Tawana Smith. Uh, Dr. T, yeah. thank you so much uh, for sharing your platform, sharing your passion, and sharing your purpose with us. And family, until next time, this has been Speak Your Success. Speak your success, believe in your greatness, and continue to create the life and business of your dreams. Why would you and why should you live any other way?